All right, man. There's no running from it anymore. What? I'm finally gonna talk about Madam Web. When the trailer dropped, I didn't think much of it. All I saw was this spider woman beater running around chasing after Sydney Sweeney. And frankly, I didn't really care. There were some glimpses of some spider women suits being shown. And then all of a sudden, this goddamn image dropped on Twitter and it was fucking open season for everybody to start rapid dumping their opinions on these suits like they had goddamn diarrhea. So it's my turn now, bitch. All right, let's get the only Spider-Man here out of the way. That's right. I want to talk about the man first. Forget the women. Forget the women. I'm a misogynist. Sorry, I'm trying to think about what to say about this suit. I mean, I guess we'll start with the basics. I like his color palette. I think it's fitting for a Spider-Man whose purpose is to run around beating women and look scary. Dude, this guy has a serious fucking woman beating issue. Like, it's not even a joke. The base color looks really nice. It's black at night, but when it's lit, it kind of looks like a super washed out turquoise green. It's not too green, and it's not like too vibrant, which I really enjoy. And I also really enjoy the blood red glass piece of the lens. I know it can only be seen in some shots, but I still really like it. It's kind of like how the TASM-1 lenses sometimes look black, even though they're supposed to look golden. But other than that, I mean, this suit's kind of one note. It's not really all that interesting. It lacks any, you know, noticeable iconography. And at the end of the day, he just kind of looks like some sort of spider grunt. There's nothing about him that looks super unique other than his color palette. He doesn't have any logos or anything. He's just covered with this line tapestry bullshit. And I mean, it's, it's a cool looking suit, but I'm gonna forget about it in the next 20 minutes. All right, guys, let's talk about these spider women. I will be dropping a 10 minute apology video for my misogyny earlier in this video. Uh, in this apology video, I will sigh before I start apologizing. I will vaguely dance around apologizing. Uh, I won't address exactly what I did to my audience so I don't get in trouble with them. Um, and then I will go back to doing the same exact thing in later videos, just like every other YouTuber does after they apologize. All right, so from left to right, we have Anya Corazon, um, Julia Carpenter, and Maddie Franklin. Let's start with Anya. Now, I'm a little baffled because of all the designs they could have went for, they decided to go for the one for the 2017 show. Okay. I guess they just saw the cartoon and thought I could save her. I'm inclined to say that they might have picked this costume instead of this one, to make sure she looked different from her co-star, Sydney Sweeney. But I mean, if that was the case, then why not just use this design? She already has goggles on in her final version, so it's not completely out of the question that she could wear something like this. But because they chose the 2017 TV show Spider-Man design, we now have two monochromatic Spider-Women and one in color. I'm not complaining. I am kind of complaining. I'm just kind of picking apart the logic, but I think all in all, they still went with a pretty good final design, and I actually really like it. And I gotta say, it's pretty solid when compared to the rest of the costume. Especially when you look to her left. This costume, worn by Sydney Sweeney, is a very confusing take on Julia Carpenter's Spider-Woman suit. Because on the one hand, I think this looks enough like the comic design for me to enjoy it. But on the other hand, did they really have to overcomplicate this costume so much? I don't hate it, okay? But why do her gloves have to be cut off with black? Why does the spider logo shoot off into a billion different directions? You guys didn't have to split apart- <sighs> You guys didn't have to add extra appendages to the spider logo to make it wrap around her body like this. You could have just did what Insomniac Venom did and had, and had the, the spider legs go over. Like, it's been done before. You guys didn't have to do this. And Jesus Christ, that mask. You know what? It, it looks really bad at this angle. Let me, let me fix it for her. Boom! How about that goddamn shit? It looks way better, doesn't it? I think... I think it looks fine here, you know? I don't think it looks too bad. 
I'll reserve my judgment for the movie. I'll I'll wait to have my final say on the mask when I watch the whole movie because god damn it, these costumes guaranteed that I'd be buying my ticket to see this movie. But right now, I think Sydney Sweeney's costume it's TVD, okay? It's TVD on whether it's good or not. I think it's a very conflicted thing. It's like the Stark suit. Yeah, it's got problems, and I, I'm still deciding whether or not I want to overlook them. Now, I love this suit. I love the red, I love the blue, and I think it does the, the spider split off into a million different lines thing way better than the other two. It kind of looks like the Spider-Man Unlimited suit, but edited into being a, a bodysuit with a more simplistic mask and way less red on it. I also really like her goggles. I think she has the best mask design out of anyone on the, I guess this image here, the Spider-Girl team. And if you look a little closer, you can also see that her costume has some webbing on it. This suit is very nice. It's my personal favorite one that I've talked about so far. Very good job, Sony. I gotta say, I don't think I'm gonna change my mind on this one being my favorite, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, uh, next we have fucking Ocean Spray. That's right, we don't have a real image of Madam Web to go over. We have a picture of a bottle of ocean spray, and that's all we have to review Madam Web's costume. And I gotta say, this look ain't so bad. I know it looks a little goofy, but that's kind of exactly what I want out of superhero costumes. I want a superhero costume that isn't afraid to look even the little bit silly. Look at the logo. I know, I know, I know, it only has six legs, but, Madam Web's suit always did this. It was always this weird spider on the chest that I always got mad at. So I'm kind of not upset that they just did the same logo again, six legs and all, or whatever the fuck is going on here. It would be like if they made 60s meme Spider-Man live action and they changed his logo to be correct instead of keeping the six legs that it already has. I think at this point, just going back to change it would feel wrong. I also like the added web accents, and I really like how the webs are used to create the body of the spider here. But honestly, at that point, is this thing even a spider logo? It's more like a spider web trying to look like a spider. I mean, it is Madam Web's costume, so I suppose it makes sense. Overall, these costumes aren't really all that bad. I posted to Twitter cheering that they weren't shit the first time I saw them, and I saw a lot of people in the comments disagreeing with me. And respectfully, despite what the Twitter mob says, I gotta say that I think I'm still correct. These costumes are not shit. You've got two costumes that are pretty good, two costumes that, eh, you know, all right. And then you've got one costume that's just there, you know? They're not perfect costumes, but since when does something not being completely perfect mean that it's shit? Just ask Tasm One. I think one issue with these designs is that they're really afraid to be too simplistic. And they solve this issue by putting too many fucking goddamn lines all over it. Again, I want to stress to you that these costumes are not bad. They are just this close away from glory, but then they fucking just do a bunch of weird shit. And once again, they aren't bad suits, but I fear that they're going to be dunked on by the internet because this movie is going to be a whole shit fest and these costumes aren't going to be given any grace that they probably deserve. Just let it be known that I liked them. And no fucking gooning over them! Guys, 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 I have something for you. The merch store, baby! If you look in the description of this video, you will find the long-awaited merch store. I got a bunch of stuff that I promise you'll be interested in. Like this very familiar blue spider hoodie. You know, I bet if you got this thing and you cut the sleeves off of it, you could probably make a pretty killer costume with it. Legally speaking, this was not the intended purpose for this product. Or what about this 
other familiar looking spider hoodie. I swear, man, just looking at this thing makes me want to grab the nearest cat, put it politely in a backpack, and just free run around the city with him. Legally speaking, this was not the intended purpose for this product. Now, I'm really excited to bring you guys these hoodies that may or may not be for your cosplays. And I have so many other items in store for you to check out, so please head down to the link in the description and get yourself some merch. I love you guys very much. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.